We're out here today covering up strawberries. They've been uncovered for a few days. As you can see, we have the blankets here on these rows. We've got the help right here, putting the sandbags on. They're pulling the blankets over the berries. And the reason being is, yes, it's a sunny, beautiful day, but if you pay attention, that sky is clear. When the sun goes down tonight, it's gonna get cold. It's gonna frost tonight, more than likely. We're looking at 33 tonight, which could be 32, could be 31, could be 35, but we're in it from here on out to frost protect the strawberries. We're actually about two weeks behind from last year. It's not anything that any of the strawberry growers have done. It's basically the rain, the clouds, the cool temperature. If you remember last year, it was warm all winter. We had a warm spring. This time last year, all the peach trees were fully blooming. Strawberries were already the size of your thumb. So we're still looking to have a good crop of berries, but we'll be doing this several times between now and harvest or last frost. So I'm very thankful for the people that's in the field working today. Uh, it's a team effort. We will be uncovering these tomorrow more than likely and letting some sun get to them. We've got one real cold night. So we're just hoping that we have a warm spring, which means not too many nights in the 20s. So just pray for all your farmers from here on out. Blueberries, blackberries, grapes, peaches, strawberries. We all need your prayers. And if it was not for the labor force that we have, we wouldn't be able to bring these uh, fruits and vegetables to you in the spring of the year. So y'all just remember the berry patch, exit 25, Ellaby, North Carolina, hashtag Ellaby Strong. Thank y'all.